Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for a host code make and take incentive. I am just short of beating last year's sales. So we're interrupting our shortcut card sketch series with a shortcut card sketch and it is part of a make and take offer that I have going on right now through September 30th. If you place an order with me, Marissa, alvarez.stampinup.net then click shop your order is $50 or more and you use the host code I'm gonna send you a make and take packet I'm gonna send it to the address that Stampin' Up! has on file for you so check that mailing address before you submit your order and it is going to include a class packet to make one of these cards this is shortcut card sketch number seven. So those of you who are doing the shortcut card sketch series, we're going to have four uh, videos in this series. We introduced shortcut card sketch number seven last week. And this technique that we are going to do today. Oh, that was eight. You guys didn't see that, did you? This technique that we're going to do works really awesome with shortcut card sketch number seven. So you're getting a bonus idea here. All right. So there's our card sketch and Project number one, if you missed it, is this biscotti treat box. We shared this on Let's Craft Live yesterday and on the blog. And then tomorrow I'll be back with a special Facebook Live and a video for the third project in our make and take packet. This is a cute little hot cocoa box. And I am going to include the biscotti for your box, and the cocoa for your treat, the materials that you need to make these three projects as my thank you gift to anybody who can order $50 or more with the host code to push me over my sales goal, okay? I'm not above a bribe. All right, so let's get started with today's projects. We've got this fun pick of the patch. You're the pick of the patch, thanks so much card. And we're gonna do a really cool technique with the Abundant Beauty Mask. So if you're doing our sampler and sketch series, the sampler had an option for level two where you got the Abundant Beauty Masks. Now here's the thing, if you didn't get these, maybe you wanna reconsider them, especially after you see what we're gonna do today. We've got this awesome leaf pattern. We're gonna use that one today. There's also snowflakes, houndstooth, and then there's a buildable sunflower here. We're going to use these in every video, even the bonus one of our shortcut card sketch series. Today, I'm going to show you how you can emboss with these masks. Maybe you've seen this, maybe this is new to you, but what I like to say around kitchen table stamper, it's a little bit, you know, tongue in cheek, but um, when I have an um, a use for something that isn't what the product was necessarily made to do. I like to say when you buy the X, you get the Y for free, right? So with these Abundant Beauty masks, when you buy the masks, you get the embossing folders. Now there's really no embossing folders, but when you buy the masks, you get the embossing folders for free because I'm gonna show you how to use these masks to emboss, right? So we have got three and three quarters by five basic black cardstock and our Abundant Beauty Leafy Mask. Let's get our stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. And if you didn't get the level two, you can always pick up the Abundant Beauty Masks as part of the ordering incentive, marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. And go ahead and get those masks now um, as part of the $50 order and get the make and take packet for free. All right, so I have in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. One, which is the platform. Three, which is a cutting pad. Now we're gonna take this cardstock and mask and our silicone craft sheet, right? So silicone craft sheet, lay the cardstock and mask right on top of that. And you might be thinking, well, how does that sandwich work? Well, you gotta cover it up with number four so your sandwich is one, three, silicone craft mat. Pick that up too if you didn't get that one. Your cardstock and your mask, then number four on top. Give it a crank. 
And now if you want to, before you get to the very end, you can send it back the other way just to kind of reinforce what's going on there. Take your time. It's gonna be a little squeezy. It fits through the machine, but it's gonna be a little squeezy. Are you ready? So now we're gonna lift this up off the mat and take off the mask. And can you see that amazing leaf texture? I see it, the camera is picking it up. You get a gorgeous deep impression. You would never even know that this was not an embossing folder. So pick up the Abundant Beauty masks and the silicone sheet and get the embossing folders for free. Pretty good deal, right? Don't overlook the decorative masks in the annual catalog. There are also two more sets of decorative masks that you can pick up as part of your $50 order. They're $10 for four masks. And so you buy the masks for 10 bucks, you get four embossing folders for free. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and assemble our card base and layers according to the sketch. So our sketch has all the details. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter is our level A. And our level B is four by five and a quarter. We crafty girls do what they want. That's what I say about me. So we're going to take those two layers, basic black, eight and a half by five and a half, and this three and three quarters by five and glue them down. Then our next level on the list is three cardstock or designer series paper pieces, one by four inches. So you'll see that they're represented by C in the sketch. And we are using them bones designer series paper this time. And I have got one by four a couple of different patterns. I'm mixing and matching the patterns each time I do this card so that you can see how all the great patterns look together. Your pieces and your make and take kit won't be exactly the same as my pieces. On the black with the black cardstock, and I like to take the uh, stamp and write marker on the brush end and put a little black oh, on that white edge. It helps to make everything look nice and clean and finished. So I'm going to do that on all four sides of all three pieces of designer series paper. All right, that's going to just keep that white edge from looking like um, sticking out like a sore thumb. All right, arrange the paper the way we like it and let's glue it down. I'm having so much fun with this designer series paper. But let me tell you, if you are a newsletter subscriber, if you aren't a newsletter subscriber, why not? Get over to um, kitchentablestamper.com slash email and don't miss out, stop missing all the good stuff. Um, we are going to have this exact card for you in the next newsletter tutorial made with the All About Autumn designer series paper. So we're going to just take this, this sketch and this bundle one step further and show you how um, nice it can look just doing the same bundle, uh, the same layout and some different designer series paper. So there is an exclusive shortcut card sketch number seven done with the pick of the patch bundle coming your way for newsletter subscribers only. Get on that mailing list, don't miss anything. All right, so we've got our level C. D is any shape of your choice, and that's this tag. E is any shape of your choice, and that's this little starburst. So what I've got instead to kind of be in the place of E is a two and three eighths inch circle. We punched that from basic white. And then to be in the place of D, I have two bits here. I have Smoky Slate, Starry Sky. We die cut these ahead. Smoky Slate is cut countryside corners, this little smallest clip corner rectangle. And then we did this tag reinforcer using the tailor-made tag size, and we're gonna glue them together to make our very own tag shape. I've got five and a half inches of 
copper clay ribbon and let's do a little stamping. Pick of the patch is photopolymer, so we need our stamp and pierce mat and our tag. Got the inside liner for the card also. This is basic white and it's four by five and a quarter. My stamp pads are Memento Tuxedo Black, Starry Sky, Old Olive, Copper Clay, Crumb Cake, and Pumpkin Pie. And we're going to start with our sentiments. I'm going to do You're the Pick of the Patch in Tuxedo Black on this little rectangle tag. <laughs> Love it. And then just so that I don't lose it and it has time to dry and set up we're going to take that little d enforcer a touch of glue you could use half of a or use a mini glue dot here and just roll it up in half if you don't want the glue or the dry time i'll set that aside to dry and then on the inside of the card i'm going to do thanks so much now i need a ton of thank you cards but if you need halloween you can use happy halloween inside you can add jack-o-lantern faces to your pumpkins there's lots of fun options for fall or for halloween i'm gonna put thanks so much low of center and then i can't resist this little crooked neck pumpkin so i'm going to stamp that one above in pumpkin pie and I'm gonna stamp the stem in crumb cake. All right, now we can set that aside and we're gonna need some basic white scraps. I've got a one inch scrap here. It doesn't have to be exact, but it makes it really easy to stamp your leaves and stems and then punch them. So we're gonna do old olive, a leaf, and then we're gonna skip a big space and do old olive one for outside one for inside and then we're going to punch a little pumpkin and we want the little pumpkin sideways because that's how it's going to go into the punch if you've been watching my series with the pick of the patch you know the uh, builder punches if you take a little bit of time for planning before you stamp you'll have a much easier time getting exactly the piece that you want without ruining a whole bunch of cardstock or other images that you took the time to stamp. So take a look at the punch for the orientation and choose wisely where you place your image so that you have success when you punch it. All right, let's slide that aside for just a second. We're gonna do our bird. If you've seen this little guy, I like to build him up so that he's got tuxedo black feet and beak and then a starry sky body so we'll have to stamp him in tuxedo black and then swipe off switch to starry sky and then we're going to do the details of our bird with some stamp and write markers we want our blue bird to have a black eye we want our black bird to have an orange beak now if you don't want to cut the bird and two separate pieces this little black bird would be very cute just cut that guy out and pop it on your on your card all right we've got to do our stems so let's punch these leaves i like to do the leaves punch them then do the stems on what's left of the strip because you'll know which part of the cardstock to stamp on. You don't want to do your stamping and then ruin the things that you've stamped with this builder punch. There's our two leaves. Now we need one stamp for the outside. We're gonna give that guy a little crumb cake right in between and we can punch that stem out. All right, let's clear away these ink pads. Ooh, I did you dirty. We need two stems, one for each pumpkin on the outside. All right, good thing I didn't put them all away yet. There we go. 
Now we're back to where we belong. <laughs> okay, samples back in. We've got one more stem to punch here and a couple of pumpkins. Let's punch them out. You'll notice that we did our big pumpkin at the bottom of the strip so we can load it in right from the top. Nice and easy. You don't have to play twister. And then our little pumpkin, we stamped at the other end of the strip on its side. Again, we can just slide that one right into the punch. No need to play twister. All right, I'm going to glue the stems to the pumpkins because then I won't lose them. So dab a glue at the bottom of the stem and then I put the pumpkin on top. Same here. Bring the inside back in. Let's glue the leaf inside. And give a little detail and a little depth. You could just stamp that if you want to, but I like the perspective that it builds. Like when you put the leaf on here, it overlaps and it does on the inside too. So it builds that um, depth and that perspective. Might as well just glue this right into our card now. And then we can set aside and fussy cut our little birds. If you've seen my series, you might have seen this before. We're just going to cut them apart, um, only fussy cutting the bits that we want, and then glue them back together to make one bird. And there's our little cutie. Now let's add some dimensionals to the back. We've got our two and three eighths inch circle. Gonna glue that a little bit right of center, a little bit high of center. Then our pumpkins, glue those on also. Move the liner from the dimensionals and pop up the leaf and the bird. So cute. Now our tag. We've got you're the pick of the patch and our five and a half inches of copper clay ribbon. I'm going to use some linen thread. It takes about 14 inches to do this. That's what you'll get in your make and take packet. You're going to lay the copper clay ribbon on the linen thread and tie a knot. And the knot secures that loop of copper clay. Now we're gonna thread your the pick of the patch on to the linen thread, just the one tail, the left side, makes it a little bit easier to line everything up. And then you're gonna tie this one, not in the full knot, just over one time, not over, under, over, under. And then we're gonna grab some dimensionals. Mm -hmm. Look at this, got a nice edge piece. So I'm going to put my ribbon where I want it behind the tag. Let me tighten that up just a little bit. And when you got your ribbon arranged kind of like you want it, then you can use your dimensionals to secure that. Another little piece on the end. Now we can put this like it is on the card, which is gonna make tying that linen thread bow so much easier because you can hold down the card and you're going to loop up swoop over the top tuck where your fingers hold in space now you got a loopy twine bow that linen thread looks so good kind of like straw nice and natural in our pumpkin patch and let's cut off the excess 
and then we're gonna clean up this copper clay. I like to clean up this copper clay ribbon after it's on the card because it is a little bit shreddy, but it's got such a great texture. So I like to get it, once I'm done handling it entirely and it's on the project, then I like to give it a little haircut. And there it is, you're the pick of the patch. And thanks so much. If you've got any questions about the free make and take offer or about the project, email us Stay crafty at kitchentablestamper.com. And to shop 24 7, don't forget the host code. If your order is $50 or more, we'll send you the make and take packet. Buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.